Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Full Life 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire and also harness the full power of the unique combat rifle known as Overseer's Guardian. First of all we will need to come to Vault 81, which can be found just to the west of Diamond City, as we can see here on the Pip-Boy map. Once in here and after hopping out of the elevator, turn to the right and head to the depot. Once in here we need to find a Lexus. Once within talking distance be sure to click on Barter, and once Alexis opens up her inventory, be sure to go across the weapons and the only weapon there will be the weapon we're looking for, Overseer's Guardian. As always the price of this weapon will vary depending on your character's current charisma level, i.e. the higher your charisma, the lower the price. Before looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bubblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Overseer's Guardian. So let's mod it out. In the first slot we're going to be adding the 308 receiver. This makes the weapon semi-automatic, adds plus 75% damage, uses the 308 rounds, increases the fire rate by 50%, and reduces the VATS cost by 10%. Next we're going to be adding the long ported barrel, which adds 9 times minimum range, adds 16 times maximum range, reduces sight spread by 40%, adds 100% minimum spread, adds 50% maximum spread, reduces the recoil by 25%, adds plus 10% to the VATS cost, and adds plus 3% to sight time. In the next slot we're going to be adding the recoil coil compensating stock, which reduces sight sway by 7%, reduces sight spread by 40%, reduces recoil by 30%, adds plus 20% VATS cost, increases the sight time by another 10%, and increases bash damage by 100%, evidently doubling the original bash damage. Next we're going to be adding the large quick eject mag, which takes the magazine size to 40, reduces the reload time by 20%, and adds plus 3% to the sight time. Next up we're going to be adding the long recon scope and although it may look a bit weird, I do find it much more easy to see through than the night vision scope. So yes, we are going with the long recon scope. This adds plus 10 times zoom, it tracks the targets, increases the sight sway by 20%, reduces the sight spread by 20%, increases VATS cost by 50%, and adds 20% to the sight time. But it is all well worth it. And finally, we're going to be taking the stealth route with this incredibly powerful sniper weapon, so we will be adding the suppressor to it. It. Again, you can mod yours out however you like, but for the way I'm going to use it, I need this suppressed. So adding the suppressor makes the weapon suppressed, which essentially makes it harder for enemies to figure out where the bullets are coming from, and also harder to detect you, so you can stay sneaking for longer while still shooting. It reduces the minimum range by 1.25 times, reduces the maximum range by 2.5 times, and reduces the overall recoil by 25%. So now that we have modded out Overseer's Guardian as I just did. It has a base ballistic damage of 90, it uses the 308 rounds, it has a fire rate of 49, its range is 173, its accuracy is 111, its weight is 22.7 pounds and its value is 1454. And at the top we can see Overseer's Guardian, which has the legendary prefix of the two shot effect, which as we can see adds one projectile, therefore increases the damage by 100% because there's double the bullets, increases the spread by 100%, 150% and increases the recoil by 100%. Now although it does shoot two projectiles, it still only uses one ammunition, so don't ye worry yourself about that. So the Overseer's Guardian, I'm sure plenty of people's favourite already. And there is good reason for it, and to be honest it's not very complex at all. As we know the Overseer's Guardian is a unique combat rifle, and when a combat rifle is modified out to be a very powerful sniper rifle, it sits at a base ballistic damage of 90. When I got all of the appropriate perks, I was able to get the damage up to 258. And keep in mind, you can get it up even further with magazines and bubbleheads. But for now, and for simplicity, let's just say it does 250 damage per shot. That's pretty good for a sniper rifle. Now it's got a magazine size of 40 and it's semi-automatic. So essentially, as fast as you can pull the trigger, the Overseer's Guardian will shoot that fast. And it's got 40 shots ready to go lined up with without having to reload. Now that is ridiculous. Now if you have a fully maxed out ninja perk, a sneak attack is going to do 3.5 times the normal damage. So a sneak shot with the Overseer's Guardian is going to do 825 damage. That's 
really damn powerful. And of course, the legendary prefix which pushes the weapon completely over the edge is the two-shot legendary prefix. Cause there's two bullets coming out, you are literally doing double the damage. So a sneak shot with this will be doing over 1650 damage, which is absolutely mental. Combine this with the fact that we put a suppressor on the front and you're going to stay sneaked for longer being able to do 1650 damage per shot multiple times in a row. Remember a magazine size of 40 so you have 40 bullets ready to go prepared to fly out of nowhere and deliver 1650 plus damage to your enemies essentially making them look like extras from Tarantino films. Then of course there's other variables such as doing a critical sneak hit. I think it's safe to say that mechanically it is possible to do over 4000 damage with a critical sneaking headshot with the Overseer's Guardian. And that my friends is where you cannot deny that the Overseer's Guardian is a fairly good weapon. And by fairly good I mean probably the best weapon in the game. Not only that, but its accessibility is incredibly easy. As we know, Overseer's Guardian can be acquired very early in the game and does not have any requirements other than its price. Its double shot mechanic and high base damage makes it one of the most powerful guns during the entirety of the game, and inside of that's when triggering a critical shot, two distinct bullets will be seen with a very small amount of spread. And just for a fun fact, a fully upgraded Overseer's Guardian can be as heavy as a non-modified minigun. And although you may see that as a drawback, it is still definitely worth it. And another fun fact, this weapon is named after me at all barbecues, as I guard the meat from becoming overseared. And here it is, the Overseer's Guardian in action. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique combat rifle known as Overseer's Guardian. I do hope that this video helped you out and if it did, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guys playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If at any point in your life you have had braces on your teeth, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching it has been an absolute pleasure and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.